Here's a very nice example of a uh, 1940s classic penny arcade machine uh, made by International Mutoscope. Uh, of course, Mutoscope was uh, very well known for making the uh, movie machines, the short movie reel machines. But in fact, uh, they had a rather prolific portfolio of arcade machines as well. And this is just a great example of one uh, from within that line. Uh, it is uh, called the Gripograph, and this is one of a series of machines that they would offer to arcades. Uh, you would imagine them sort of in a, in a penny arcade environment where you'd have multiple machines lined up. And in this case, um, if we look at a reprint from a uh, 1940s distributor catalog from the Mike Munvis catalog in New York, you see... Um, they have all the different strength machines categorized, and here's the set of the uh, different Mutoscope offerings. Here's the Gripograph, uh, the Shoulderograph, the Squeezograph, and a Thiograph machine. Uh, and there's the uh, Punching Bag as well. All of them uh, offered by International Mutoscope, uh, and uh, actually there's a Monkey Lift there as well by them. And uh, you see that the uh, for $125 at that point, you could acquire one of these uh, brand spanking new machines. What's interesting to see, actually, in contrast is here's the uh, Mills Cast Iron Lifter, which was really a uh, uh, machine that was popular in the teens and the 20s by Mills. Those machines were being sold um, for considerably less money. You could actually buy the, uh, the Mills machine for like $75. So uh, these were considered old technology because they were mechanical. These gripographs and this uh, line from the Mutoscope company was, of course, the latest and greatest uh, for the modern arcade. And uh, we'll see why in a moment. It's a very uh, active machine. It has a lot of uh, uh, attributes, a lot of uh, activity going on. First and foremost, uh, specific to this specimen, we have a great unmolested, all original example. Uh, so the cabinet, as we see, is the original oak. And the paper uh, for the gripograph and giving the instructions is uh, original. And most importantly, that beautiful graphic uh, and the uh, dial uh, in the front is also uh, a an original and uh, is the uh, is original to the machine. It is in just really pristine condition. So basically, the operation is uh, rather straightforward, as you might imagine. The patron would drop a nickel, and then uh, that would reset the score and reset the lights on top. We'll talk more about that in a moment. And then also uh, allow them to then squeeze the center handle and see, from a gripograph standpoint, how well they could register. What's, uh, again, very interesting to this is the amount of... Uh, activity or the stimulation that's going on to kind of call attention to the machine and to the uh, and to the patron. You have um, obviously the nice large dial with the score. You also have the lights on top that light up progressively. And then if you get far enough, there's actually a nice loud electric gong that rings. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll start by uh, pushing the button to reset. That shuts the lights off at the top. We'll take our nickel and drop it in the slot. And we'll give this a squeeze. Let's see, we've got the, the 400 light, the 600 light. Ah, we're not quite far enough though to ring the bell. So we'll reset it. And of course, uh, those uh, uh, the bell can light at uh, at different periods, and it is adjustable. But uh, you'd really want it to uh, to require a lot of strength, so it wouldn't be going off too often. Let's see if we, ah, uh, didn't get it that time. <laughs> Let's see if we get it. There we go. So we got the bell to ring on the International Mutoscope Gripograph. One other item to note on the machine, a uh, nice original uh, metal plaque in place for, uh, for the Mutoscope company. So 1940s International Mutoscope Gripograph with lights and gong.